Hey, how's it going? Andrew Reby here. Uh, it was asked on eSupport how we can append a PDF to the end of a custom report. So what I have here in front of us is a custom report. It's a pretty simple cabinet list that shows the cabinet name, cabinet type, width string, height string, and depth string. Nothing really spe special and kind of unimportant as to the content, um, but what it does have is multiple pages. You can see that it is breaking by this one and this two right here, um, and that is the room number, the room ID. I just wanted kind of a simple break, so that's what we have here. And afterwards is a PDF that gets shown up. Uh, so how do we do this? Well, it's actually really simple uh, once you know what to do. So I'm gonna go to setup mode. I'm gonna hit new report. I'm gonna create a new table. We're going to go to the cabinets table, select any field and hit finish. I'm gonna change this to select star from cabinets and I'm gonna order it by the cabinets dot room ID and then the cabinets dot cabinet ID. So we refresh that, everything looks good, we'll hit close and then we're going to create the base um, report container. So I'm going to toss this in here, just draw one out and table and we're going to use cabinet name, cabinet type, width string, height string, and depth string. I'm going to hit OK and you can see that I have a basic uh, table. I'm going to change this so that it has a group header. The group header is going to be cabinets dot room ID and we're just going to put in a field here. We're going to go cabinets dot room ID just so that it shows up. We're going to hit OK. Uh, and uh, actually, we're going to go back in here. We're going to go to the group header. And we're going to tell it to break before. So when I close this and save it, then I'll go to view mode. You'll see I have that basic set of data in there. Now, this is great, but we don't have the PDF in yet. So let's change this. We'll go to design report, insert, PDF, and then just draw it right over our uh, report container. I'm going to select a file and I'm going to find a file on my computer that I just have in my downloads. That's going to be this one, which is the one that I showed you before. Now it's going to bring that PDF in. It's going to start to render it and then it's going to ask us if we want to embed the PDF into our report like this. I'm going to select yes, which makes the, PD the report itself a little more portable. Um, <clears throat> so if I go ahead and close this and save this now, you can see that our PDF is behind our report container. That's no good. It could be hiding vital information. So uh, let's kind of fix that. We'll go to design report again. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our object list here, um, which is in on this tab. If you don't have that, go to project and make sure this box right here, objects, is checked. Then uh, you just select the tab. And now we have to go to the actual object list itself. So we're going to right click on any object in this list and go to object list. We're going to select our report container and we're going to click the link with button. We're going to select right now the PDF, which is the only object in here that uh, is unlinked. And we're going to click OK. Now you can see that the PDF has been put under the report container. And this basically tells it that, hey, there's a, a specific sequence we want for this uh, to get done. But uh, we don't want it in sequential type. And I, I really don't, I haven't toyed around with sequential or at end keep size kind of thing. Um, but what I do know is that the individual size and position adaption works for us. What it will do, however, if I just click OK, close this and save, is you'll see it kind of shrunk everything down and did some weird stuff. That's really not any good. So what we need to do is we need to go here. We're going to go back to our object list. We're going to give it a vertical interlink. And instead of relative to end, we're going to click to end. So we're going to hit OK, save and close. And now what you've seen is that our PDF doesn't show up here, but it does show up on the next page. And that's because our report container is done printing. It's printed all of the information. That's every single table, every single everything. 
and it's uh, it's like, all right, well, we're done. Now we can put the PDF in. Well, if you notice, if we go to page three, the PDF's a lot bigger, same on all the other pages. But if I go to page two, it's kind of shrunk down. Again, not the most optimal choice. So we're gonna go back to design report. We're going to click on PDF and here, we're gonna go, we're gonna change this page break before from no to yes. Now we can either do what I did is double click on this or we can select the drop down and select yes. Uh, we're gonna close this, we're gonna save changes and now what's gonna happen, it's gonna do all of the printing of all the tables and then it's gonna start on a new page with our PDF. So if you have any issues with this, uh, please hit us up on our eSupport website. That is HTTPS eSupport dot Vero software dot com. Um, <clears throat> ask us any questions about this and uh, I hope this helps.